Nelson from Batch Cottage Flowers, a cut flower business based in Somerset. I'm an artisan grower supplying seasonal scented garden style flowers which I make up into gift bouquets for local delivery. I also offer a personal service to brides growing and arranging flowers for their wedding day and I sell flowers to florists as well as running workshops here at Batch Cottage. I grow on a third of an acre and we grow over 70 varieties of flowers for cutting within our garden. I thought as it's the flower farmer's big weekend, it would be a nice idea to show a little of the area where we grow and to tell you about my essential tools of the trade. Here's my greenhouse. I feel really lucky to have such a nice one. It was bought for me by my auntie. Um, and there's nothing in there at the moment because it's so hot, but obviously I bring everything on over the winter. From autumn onwards, I'm sowing seeds in here. Um, it is really lovely to, to have a greenhouse if you are going to be growing commercially, um, either a greenhouse or a polytunnel. You don't need both, um, but it's, they are nice to have and they will extend the season, give you protection and give your seeds a chance to overwinter and grow in a protected warm environment. I don't heat it, it's cold, but I think it makes the plant stronger, so it's great. So I'm going to take you into the polytunnel where I'm hoping I will find my favourite tool of the trade. So here we are mid-July, we've got some cyanoglossum here, we've got zinnias coming on. This is one of my favourites this year, it's Dorcas and it's so pretty. I love it every year, it's all its different stages, it just grows so beautifully and it's a lovely carrot flower and it comes in burgundy too, Dorcas Dara and this is the most gorgeous Thalaspe which is just so lovely, really pretty, lovely foliage, lovely flower, great in reeds and here is my favourite tool. This is my trowel I really love it. It's a copper trowel with a good sharp edge and this one's lasted me for years. So here I am in the greenhouse. One of the things, an essential, is seed trays. And I put square pots in mine. I can fit 15 of these into my seed trays. So I start off, I grow my seeds in these little small trays like this and then I prick them out into these and then into the, my trays they go. I used to use wooden seed trays which were great and looked beautiful but they, they just weren't very practical. The, they leaked, I couldn't water properly with them and although these are plastic they will last for a long long time, they're reusable, I use them every year and they do the job really well. This is little peppermint who we bottle fed as a lamb. And these are our donkeys who help us grow the flowers by supplying manure for the compost heap. <coughs> the chickens help us make the compost too. The majority of our animals here are rescued. These are our compost bins. We're lucky we have lots of good ingredients for compost making here. Donkey, sheep and chicken manure goes in along with lots and lots and lots of shredded paper, which we think is the secret ingredient, as well as cuttings from the garden and organic food matter. 
and occasionally some rainwater if it gets dry. We label them so we know when they're ready. They take up to a year to be ready for spreading around the garden. We don't turn our compost, we just let time and the brandlings and the worms and the centipedes do the work. So this one was filled in August 19 and you can see it's almost ready but we won't use it now until autumn winter time when we'll cover cover the garden with it when we have more time and it's great for flower growing this is my shed where i do all my arranging i cut the flowers and i bring them in here in buckets of water for conditioning overnight it's just an ordinary little garden shed which i've painted and i store my buckets here my radio comes everywhere with me, string or twine for tying things up, staking flowers and plants, and scissors. These are my favourites at the moment, saccagens. They're lovely. A few other tools of the trade that I'd recommend would be a good quality hose pipe, a spade, a hoe, a wheelbarrow, a lightweight watering can, and a garden trolley like this. This is really useful for carrying seed trays and also buckets of water so that when you're cutting your flowers, you can transport them easily around the garden. Lastly, one thing I wouldn't be without is my Flowers from the Farm membership. It's just been the most brilliant community to be part of. There are 800 members now all mostly all small artisan growers like me some of the growers do grow on larger areas but there are lots of us growing in smaller gardens or in on allotments and we're working alone and so we have a brilliant support network in flowers from the farm we share information and uh, everybody is very supportive so that's been really wonderful for me and pushing me forward and uh, brought me uh, confidence and many friendships which I'm very grateful for so have a look at the website www.flowersfromthefarm.co.uk come and join the British flower movement it's a great place to be and I highly recommend it